Hi, I'm Stephen Edholm from the soon-to-be-popular YouTube channel Skill Cult. Perhaps you've heard of me. Well, perhaps not. Well, today I'm going to show you how I process deer legs. Zip this open, cut the skin off. This makes very good glue. You can kind of stitch it onto handles and stuff and just let it dry with the fur on it, especially since they kind of rattle around. There you go. This bracelet is made from the uh, bone inside the little dew claws here. So check out the color on these red flesh apple seedlings. It's definitely going to have some strongly red fleshed apples. I mean, just look at the color on those leaves. Wow. I don't know what, maybe this is like their fifth or sixth year. Anyway, I'm starting to get some fruit and about 12 varieties bloomed this year. These here are the pinkest blossoms I've seen on my apple seedlings yet. This is approaching the level of pink that you see in a variety like grenadine, which is one of the parents this year. I just put some pollen on them. Look at that beauty. Now this one, I do know the other parent, which is Lady Williams. And it is, oh, ta-da! Lady Williams is a tart apple. It wouldn't surprise me if this left to hang on the tree would go much redder than this uh -huh. and that it's not ready. Mm. It's got the flavor. Yeah, it's got complexity. Yeah. Front, maybe it needs to ripen longer but more likely it's just a boring apple. Oh yeah. It's not an unattractive apple. It has a smooth, waxy skin. It's kind of angular, which is actually a grenadine trait. Weight, kind of average, doesn't feel particularly dense or particularly light. Hmm. Well, it's quite sweet. It tastes very sweet and it's not ripe. Okay, so I'm surprised that it, this is not ripe. It is a fairly high astringency. You know, this is pretty good, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna finish this. I think it's gonna be extremely sweet. Because Golden Russet has a very high sugar content. I'm pretty intrigued by this apple, actually. We'll see how it develops. I'm gonna um, look at the tag, get the number, and I'm gonna write that down in my notes and make, you know, specific notes on this apple. And we'll see, that way I'll have something to compare to next year. After having so many accidents and near accidents over the years. See you in a few hours. Okay, we're gonna take a look in here.
you know, I, I dreamed this up and I made this and I was like, okay, this is the incentive for the Cordwood Challenge project for sure. Boots. You know, I don't believe this is a, oh, here we go, right here. Slip with the heel and then right here, there's the like the paw print. Still have this one and it's ready. And then just pressing some of the liquid and lime. Remember that salty, nasty, smelly, ugly thing we started with? Well, this is completely different. there so that there's no white line and go for about an inch on the bottom it's going in I don't pour very well. and whoever else was writing about axes in the 20th century. And, you know, pretty soon this is just going to be standard fare. People are going to stop accepting this crap as it comes out of the... F and some other tools and get on with this. Just laying around and in my little traveling toolkit. Perfect. This will just leave the little piece in the middle that was in this. Make the right tool for the job. Everyone needs a few vices. You see, this is cutting rather nicely. Canted like this, so I need to bring this edge down a little more. Dude, look at that dust. The thing overheats constantly, so I'm redoing the heat sink grease. But damn, all this dust can't be helping. As the crow flies, that fire is probably a mile and a half from my house. I can see flames coming up right there. Now there he goes.
Now this is different than the chili powder you get at the store because that stuff is the spots that are touching the pan or that, but I have worn out quite a few of them over the years. Put in a bunch of chili powder here, some sugar, 